Welcome back to Same Right Fashion Academy YouTube channel for another interesting tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to bead on an illusion mesh. So this beading on an illusion mesh, you can do it on the sleeve, you can bead on the sleeve, you can bead on the yoke, you can bead on any illusion mesh using this simple method. So here you can see these beautiful dresses have beadings on the sleeve. So I'm going to share with you the tips and tricks to beading perfectly on an illusion mesh. So here you can see what I came out with. I beaded on my sleeve of my dress. So you can see how beautiful that sleeve is actually looking, looking like an already beaded lace. Okay. So I'll be showing you how to go about it right now. So the first thing you are going to do is to bring your sleeve. So here is the sleeve I'm working with. I just matched it on a plain paper to be sure I have my accurate length. So on that plain paper, I'll make any design I want to make. I can make a zigzag, a curvy, or whatever. So you can see I made a curvy design. So this line I made is half an inch. You can make it 0.25 inch. You can make it one inch. It depends on the base of your bead. So here is half an inch. So I cut it out right now and I'm going to fold my mesh. So it depends on the net you are working with, the color you are working with. I'm working with white bead fabric. So I'm using white net now. So I have folded it into four, uh, eight times just to make sure I cut out eight pieces. So it depends on the design you're creating. You just fold your net according to the design you are creating and place this pattern on top of it. So here I follow the curve of this pattern, which is at 0 0.5 inches width. So you can see me cutting it out according to the shape. So after cutting it out, I'm going to take off my pattern and you can see I have a curvy design. So this method is very, very good for bidding on an illusion mesh and it gives it that uh, luxury look. So I'm going to place this pattern. Okay. I'm going to place it on my on my net, which is my sleeve. I'll just place it the way I want my design to run. So I want my design to run the way you see me placing it right now. So like I said, the width of this mesh, this white mesh can be 0 0.25, a quarter, half inch, one inch, depending on what you are creating. So I decide to place it at intervals and I'm going to secure them with my pin as you see me do right now. So I'm going to bead right on top of this mesh, okay? This white net I placed on the illusion net, okay? So it will give it that luxury look. So it can be a zigzag pattern you can cut out. It can be a round pattern, whatever. Just make sure you create what you want, what you want on your paper. So this is what I came out with. And this is how I actually want my sleeve to be. So I secured everything with my pin, as you can see right there. So now I'm going to bring in my beads. So here you are, I have my transparent thread, but this transparent thread is actually black. So I'm not going to use it. So if you have a matching transfer, transparent thread, you can make good use of it. But I love to make use of my ordinary thread. Okay. Whenever I'm beading, I like to use the normal thread. Okay. And it comes out very perfectly too. So my needle, I'm using needle size 11, okay? I have 11 and 12 right here, but I actually used 11 for this beading. So here I am going to get my beads. I'm working with four different beads. I have my pearl. I, I can work with my pearls. I also have my crystal beads. This is size 8 crystal beads. And I also have my my sequin i got a silver sequin and this is my broken rice beads and i have my tacking stones or rhinestones so it depends on what you actually want to do so i have my a lot of beads right here so you can choose your beads accordingly so but for this particular uh, sleeve i use only four beads okay i used my broken rice beads the one i want to pour in is broken rice beads they are just very very little as you can see so i pour it inside the plate of course you need a plate for this 
Then I came in with my crystal beads size 8. So this size 8 crystal beads, I'm going to also cut out 3 strands or 4 strands for one sleeve. Then I have poured in the crystal beads. I poured 4 strands into my plates as you can see. So I just added one more to it to make it 4 strands. So I'm also going to pour in my sequin. So this is a silver sequin. So I, I got the rounded shape sequin. It has a lot of shapes anyway, but I choose the round one. Then that is just the beads I'm going to make use of, okay? I added my tacking stones and my sequin, but I didn't use the tacking stone at the end of the day. But you can de decide to use the rhinestone or tacking stone at the end of the day. So we want to start beading right now. And this is the technique I'm going to use to bead. So after putting in your needle and thread in your size 11 needle, I'll go from the back. Then I'm going to tack my thread very well. You can knot it like two, three, you know, to secure it very well because this is an illusion mesh. And make sure your illusion mesh is a quality illusion mesh, okay? So now I'm going to pick my sequin. The sequin will go in first or sequence, sequence, okay? Then you add your crystal bead on it and put it back into the knot of the sequence. So for the broken rice beads, I'm going to come in with my seal tape or cello tape. So you can see how I'm rounding it up. It will help me to pick up my broken rice beads very, very easily. So I'll pick my broken rice beads, about five of them, from that point. So I'll pick five or six. It depends on what you want to create. So after picking my broken rice beads, the next thing I'm going to do is to insert it wherever it stops. I'm making a zigzag design right here. So I am going to place it in the zigzag form, then put it into the net, and then pass it out again. From the back side, I'm going to pass it to the front side and take off my pins around that area. So once I, br I bring it out, I'm going to pick another sequin. So I'll put in the sequin and then I'm going to get a crystal bead on top. So that's how you keep going like that. And you put it back into the knot of the sequin. Then after that, you are going to pick the broken rice beads. So I'll go, over, go back to my hand right there and pick five broken rice beads. So once um, I take it in, I'll put it in a zigzag form. So you just keep, you know, taking the zigzag form like that, like that. Then I'll pick up another sequin, pick up another crystal on top of it and pass it back into the knot of the sequence. And then I'll pick my broken rice beads once again. So that's how I'll keep going, picking it that way. After I'm done, I'll make another zigzag design with it and not the thread. Then pick up another sequin and then add my crystal beads to it as well. I just want to slow down this video a little bit right now so you'll be able to understand very, very clearly. So I'm going to pick this. Okay, I'll use this to pick my rice beads. Here is my needle and thread. So I'm going to pass my needle this way. Then you knot it. So you just go ahead and knot it the first time. Then you can also knot it the second time. So I'll just go ahead and knot it, okay? Take off my pins. Here I have my sequin. So I'll pick one sequin like this. Pick one of my crystal beads like this. 
then I'll lift it up, pass it inside and bring it out like this. I believe you are seeing what I'm doing here. Okay, so after you have passed it this way, I'll now pick one, two, three, four, five. I'll take it to the direction I want, pick it up, then after that, you close it up with another sequin, and a crystal bead. So you lift it up and pass it in here and come out again. You pass it like, like this, then you go ahead and pass this, count another one, so I'm counting just five pieces. Now you pass your crystal bead. Then you pass the crystal bead to it. After passing the sequin, you take it to this direction and insert it. You insert. You insert and bring out. You continue like this, like that, okay? So, I'll just pick five, five pieces. Then you pick a sequin. And then you close it up with a crystal. Then you pass it into the crystal on the direction you want to. You pass it inside the crystal like this. I usually take it out this way, okay? So I'll continue this process you have seen me now. When I get to the end of this thread, I'm going to knot it close and start up another one the same way as I did. Then I close it up with a sequin and then pick my crystal bead. So I'll pick my crystal bead, take it in this direction, okay? Then pick it up this way and continue the process. So now I'm going to take it to this direction because I'm working on a zigzag pattern. So I'll just go ahead and pass it through this crystal, through the sequin. Can you see that? Then I'll just go ahead and knot it. So you must pass it through the sequin on that hole. Okay, so when you uh, start to bead yours, if you are using this sequin, of course you see what I, I'm talking about. So I'm knotting it two, two times for this part. Then I'll put my thread again and I'll continue right from this part I knot. Then here you can see my knot. So I'm going to start another one. In case you want to start another one, you go back to that part you stopped and then secure your pin, your needle. So you just go ahead and secure as many, as much uh, possible as you feel secured. 
So I'll just do only one. Then I'll pick up my C queen. And then I'll pass my crystal bead on it. Okay, so I was uh, actually supposed to go with my broken rice beads. But since I've passed this one, no problem. So I'll just go ahead. You can see what I did there. So I'll begin to pass my broken rice beads. Okay. So I'll continue this process till I get to the end.